I mentioned um, in the introduction that there are, were at least nine different um, sort of criminal areas of inquiry, areas of inquiry about potential criminality um, that the DA's office was looking into at the time that you joined. Um, you say one of them was the hush money payment to Stormy Daniels, another one was taxes, potential improper business expense deductions, deductions of consulting fees. Um, in his relationship with Deutsche Bank, could he have defrauded Deutsche Bank by getting financing through overstated financial statements? whether he'd engaged in money laundering through Deutsche Bank, using overseas bank accounts, um, the accuracy of materials he provided to the GSA about the old post office, and, 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 a, ha and a host of other things, including insurance fraud, um, the restructuring of his loan on his Chicago skyscraper. You go on and on and on. When you describe that litany of areas of potential criminal inquiry for Trump, and when you describe your reasoning and the debates between you and your team, about the hush money thing. Are you giving a potential lifeline to Donald Trump's defense lawyers that if they do end up getting charged with anything related to any of those items, including the hush money matter, that your book could be used as evidence essentially to try to question the charges in court, to say, look, prosecutors have been looking at this stuff for a long time. Responsible prosecutors looked at this, decided there was nothing there and didn't charge it in the past. This is selective prosecution or this is an overreach. Have you, given, have you given the defense a leg up here? Look, I don't think we've given the defense any kind of leg up. When you look at the public reporting about the grand jury uh, presentation that may now be underway, obviously, I don't know what's going on behind closed doors in the DA's office, uh, and I don't know what evidence is being presented. I don't know whether charges will be brought. But as it relates to the hush money circumstances, those facts have been known literally for years. Michael Cohen wrote about them in his book. He testified about them. Stormy Daniels wrote a book. Stormy Daniels appeared on Michael Cohen's podcast to talk about it. And uh, the federal prosecutors brought their own prosecution based on those facts. So I'm not letting any cats out of the bag, if you will. Those cats have been running all over the place literally for years. But the reasoning about whether or not to bring charges based on those facts, is that potentially helpful to any defense counsel? I don't think so. The legal issue that uh, I've noted in the book is an issue that appears on the face of the statute. It's already been written about, was written about before my book uh, has come out. Um, on the financial statement side of uh, the coin, we don't know, I, I certainly don't know what investigation is taking place, if any. I don't know whether charges will ultimately brought, be brought. What I do know is that the evidence underlying the charges we intended to bring is all out there in the public record mm -hmm. in the civil case that the Attorney General of the State of New York, Letitia James, brought. She filed a civil complaint of well over 200 pages, which lays out in abundant detail the assets that were misvalued, the basis for the overvaluation of the assets, that is how she concluded and why she concluded that the assets were overvalued, and the evidence that we were looking at in connection with a potential criminal case has been laid out in chapter and verse in that complaint. And again, there is nothing in my book about the financial statement investigation uh, that the criminal investigation that we were doing, there are no new facts that don't appear in the attorney general's complaint. So and I was pretty well satisfied when I wrote the book that I wasn't going to interfere with any potential prosecution. And look, I, I wrote the book in part to say there should have been a criminal prosecution. There needs to be a criminal prosecution. The last thing I would have done is to do something that would get in the way of a criminal prosecution that I thought and still think should be brought.